Richard. I'm off on a trip Tuesday. So I might put this out on Tuesday. Um, well, I don't know. Is it, is it actually going to be trade? No, I'm probably just going to sell it. So I found a 335 um, in Springburn, which is only like 10 minutes away. And I've never done a, a buck fast 335 before. So that's what I think I'm going to do with it. I, unless I like it, of course. But. In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, take the second exit and stay on Kirkintilic Road, A803. Every now and again, I try and buy a 335 thinking, well, there must be something in the 335 thing, but I just, I, I don't get on with them. Um, I, I don't know, there's something about this thing. I always feel like the seat. I mean, I've had, even, it wasn't maybe about a year ago, probably not even that. I bought a nice Gretsch Streamliner, which was actually, or a swap for, it was actually, it was a nice one as far as they go, but it was just, I don't know, I, I might just be totally put it off them by Oasis, really, um, I don't know, it's like the whole In idea of it being semi-acoustic doesn't really do it for me, I've never really, mind you, this all comes down to the part from that Yamaha ADX I've got, which I do like. Um, it's not really a 335 though, but it's got a sort of hollow bit in it, so it's sort of going that way. I just don't feel it never. It doesn't really do anything to the sound of the guitar being semi-hollow. I don't think um, like in a positive way. What it does mean is like, see when you're playing it not into an amp or you're playing it at a quiet volume, you get like a, a sort of really thin, tinny sound out the sound holes, which is not, it's not a nice sound, it t tends to, rather than amplifying or giving, letting you hear the notes that you want to hear, it kind of, it sort of let, more lets you hear any buzzes or any mishit notes, it kind of makes you, make you sound worse, you know what I mean, um, I'm really not doing a good job of selling this, I mean lots of people like D3.5s and it's, like, it's, it's, it's obviously a taste thing, but I mean even, even expensive ones. I've never really played one that I thought was really good. I even I was, I was talking to Scott earlier on. Um, he doesn't like 335s either. So I'm going to buy a 335. I'm sick. Like, why? <laughs> can turn it into a bucket caster. Okay. So, so it's fine. That's, that's a fair enough excuse for doing it. I'm actually thinking about it. It's red and binding top and bottom. So I'm, I was, what I was thinking originally was. Um, I'll just paint the top and the bottom green, but leave the, the sides red. You know, just take them off and then keep the binding on that. Pretty cool. And it's got that one, you put a big stripe down the middle, like that Tom DeLonge model. You know, I don't know, you see the guy from Limp Biscuit or something like that. I think it's only got one, it's only got a bridge pickup. But it's got like racing stripes down the middle of it. I'm thinking, yeah, it's got red. It's like, I've got a yellow, but a marigold yellow racing stripe down the middle. Green sides, that's going to look pretty good. Mile, but see, this is red out, anyway. What I'm thinking is, if I tape off the middle bit so it stays red, paint it green, and then leave it a couple of days and then tape off the other bit and leave like a, a 10 mil or a half inch red stripe down the yellow bit, that might look pretty cool. Or do I do it the other way around? I put the red stripe down the middle. I'll need to think about it. Um, it could be fun. I've also got a big, uh, like a, a big speed copy thing lying about that. I don't, I don't, I'm not really, I don't, I don't really get big space either. Um, Exit the roundabout onto Wester Hill Road. So I might do the whole, the whole shebang, which I'm trying to think of a drink I don't like as <laughs> well, because it will be bucky, so I like that, but it's going to be a 335. At the roundabout, take the second exit onto Wester Lumley Road. Which I don't like, um, and then have a, a big space, which I don't like, and then I could play Oasis on it, which I really don't like. It would be like a pair of, a bit of triple whammy. That should be fun anyway. But I was actually thinking about Trade Tuesday thing. I think I might put up my, um, that hybrid. Did anyone want a hybrid PV Telecaster? A double bound telly. It's, it's a nice guitar. It's just, it's not really, not really anything for me. I've got, I've got so many Telecasters. I don't need that one. It does have an acoustic, a Fishman acoustic bridge in it though. And I did technically get it in a trade, so... It, Exit the roundabout onto Western Lovely Crow. Shut, gonna shut up, stop telling me where I'm going. At Orkanen Roundabout, take the third exit onto Orkanen Road, BA12. Listen to the, 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 the girl who does the voiceover, not pronounce it. 
Ochenerns or Kirkintillach. And Ochenerns, it knows that Ochenern and Kirkintillach. It's got tishs in it. Yeah. So I've taken, I've taken my wee the amp with me, which is my new ta new tactic for going to try out guitars, especially sort of cheap ones. I can't remember the, the name. So it's likely to be, I don't know, is it Har it's not Harley Benton, it's uh, Stretton Pain, something like that, um, which I've not really heard of, but they'll be much the same as all the 335s you get, all the, all the 335 copies all made the same factory, Excellent I imagine. Damn it! 
that says dead end, so it's not that way. If I just keep going this way, I'm sure it must have. I might have recognised where I am at some point. Because, do you because of the... Oh man, I don't know, right, I sort of know where I am. I just keep driving and then either kind of go left or keep the sun behind me. Aye, because the sun was in my face all the way here. So if the sun's behind me all the way home, I'll end up going in the same direction as... Yeah, that's it. So it's all worked out. At least I get to see some, some glorious sights that I've never seen before. I've never been on this road before. But with all these things just come out onto it. Here's a main road. Here's a main road. This is that Wallace Well one. That's a very communist looking block there. If anyone still lives in that, it kind of looks like something in Ukraine. Before it got bombed, there's my pal who's doing a co op he used to work in. Uh, so, I again have a 335. It's basically just an acoustic start because the electrics have fallen out of it. It's like crap as acoustics. Woo! I'm going, I'm going to go past some bargains and away home as well, get some stuff in there, and I need petroleum. Because I ain't got none. And tomorrow, oh, well, maybe a road trip tomorrow to go to Kilmarnock. Depending on how I time it, I might. To drop off Pal Ivers, so a uh, West Tone Thunder base, which was an absolute steal. I wouldn't have bought it, I don't know why, then somebody did. It was well, my pal Taylor. So I, I, I know a bass player wants one of these. Yeah. Which is nice, but what a belt of a guitar that Midwest tone bass was. Um, or is, still got it. So hopefully things will start moving again, people will start buying guitars. I wish I should have offered less for the guitar, it would have taken less. But I kind of. So I, don't, I don't want to be too moany about these things when it's basically I was going to fix it anyway, you know, so to paint it, the electrics were coming out, and to be honest, if the electrics don't work, I will check them before I take them out. I'm going to spend an hour tonight with a coat hanger trying to find the jack socket, though, I can almost guarantee it, to see if I can make the thing play before I buckify it. So I also want to do that with the, the truss rod. If I, can, if I can make it play before I strip it and paint it, then I'll know it's all right. But that when we were talking, I was talking to Scott the other day about um, the setup thing. And uh, how his, his, his order for a setup is slightly different from mine, because I'm too used to doing guitars that I've bought for peanuts off Gumtree that don't work. So I, I'll, I check the trust rods before I paint the guitar and do all this work. But he's more looking at, oh, he means actually guitars that work, that need set up. I'm talking about guitars that don't work, that need repaired. But it needs to be found out why it was a tenor or whatever it was. I don't think he would have taken a tenor for that. It would have been it would have built too much of a deck. I'm going to, I'm going to turn it into a bucket caster and sell it anyway. So there's enough room for everyone to do all right. I'm not, I'm not going to try and scrape. Much money rip anyone off. I think I've been probably marked for it, to be honest. 335 copy with electrical issues. The thing about 335s is, I always think there's a little bit more to making them because you've got to make a back and a front and make it hollow and all that rather than. Yeah, especially something like a Telecaster, it's basically a flat piece of wood, bandsaw it out, stick a neck on it, done. So the 335 has a little bit more to it. You can, I could never be an effort to make one yourself. It's an it's a, it's a, it's a orangey, it's, a, it's quite nice. Stratton, Stratton Pain Guitar Company. Sounds like, sounds like a pharm pharmaceutical company, doesn't it? Or a bunch of lawyers, or one of your you know, Tory donator par parties. Oh, it's like, look, Stretton Payne's donated a million pounds to the Tory party. That was nice of them. And then it's like, oh, look, the particular field in which Stretton Payne work in, oil or nursing homes or whatever, suddenly got a massive tax break 
worth a hundred bill with worth a billion pounds. It's like, well, what were the chances of that? Just after, just a couple of weeks after they donated money to the government, oh, what were the chances of that? Got political again. Look at the wall. It is a nice place here. Sunset, but it's looking particularly wallish today. This is, it used to be, it looks like it's closed down. So nobody reads books anymore. This used to be Collins Books. I was going to cut out early. Um, the battery was running flat when I went and picked up this the other day. Um, so this is Welcome to Trades Tuesday Series 4. I think I'm going to have a bit of an attempt to try and actually not just get bored with it and stop doing it. Uh, yeah. So, as I, as I hinted in the video, I was this is going to be the, the 3T5 Bucky Caster. It's a lot of work to do that. Actually, I did a video earlier on today, like a short one. This is now up for trade on the Facebook page. 75 clicks it's got so far, but nobody's bought it or nobody's trying to trade for it. Um, it's just in the situation, see when I'm doing the Bucky Casters, I do sometimes buy guitars for that purpose. And see if it's, if it's kind of quite nice. It's like, see if it's got lots of scratches on it or it's a horrible colour or something. Like that. I, I don't mind painting it, but... If it's actually quite nice as it is, I kind of don't want to just take a perfectly good guitar and ruin it. Make it what it could possibly be worth less money, Bucky Fied. Whereas if you've got one that looks bloody awful and I paint it like Bucky, it's like it makes it better. Whereas if you take a nice guitar, like a pretty. So I mean, the only thing it issues with this is just it's got a bit of a chip there, like a wee bit, but it's flaked off there and there. Apart from that, the thing looks brand new. It's never been played. Um, I got this in, I think I said in the video, I just watched it there to see what it said. Um, so I'm halfway through editing it, so hopefully I'll be manage to get this out by 7. Might be a bit later. Um, and the action, the truss rod had never, never moved. The action was a wee bit, was out here somewhere and the, the jack socket had fallen inside it. So basically, it was probably pretty much like that new. The action would, I mean, the first thing I did was check the truss rod and it's like, Bjorn, it's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. Oh, it's caught on! So I think what's happened is obviously the truss rod's got like a bolt at the end and the, the, the bolt's been put on. There you go. But you, it took a few turns before it actually got to where it's doing something. Um, and I pulled the action down. Uh, got the neck straight, lowered this, set it up, intonated it, and it's actually pretty good. But looking at the frets on it, there is no wear on it whatsoever, which implies that this guitar never probably never works and was never loved it's got that kind of and these chips out it are not wear chips these are there's two different types of guitar damage well, there's three different types isn't there you get good honest wear where someone's been gigging it and playing it so it's like you know it's got maybe it scuffs here and here and it's like chips around the edge where it's been going into the studio and the gig bags and all that you get relict which is for someone's thought I'll make this look like it's been well used and they sand it and hit it with a hammer and shit, which never looks 
it looks like somebody sanded it and hit it with a hammer and then you get this guitar's never been played but it's been on display or in a, and it's been knocked about a few times do you know it's like it's been on a stand or it's been in the corner of a room and things have fallen against it sort of thing that's what these chips are these chips aren't ones that you would get from gigging or playing it these are chips that you get from it just being sitting in the corner and then forgetting about oh it's like i've dropped my school bag against it or something or you know, i've been moving a table and it's accidentally that that's what this sort of damage is but i mean there's literally there's no you can even tell them it's no matter how good a guitar it is there's always going to be slight scuff marks where picks have been hitting it and stuff none of that in this at all so basically brand new um i've sorted out i took the ages to find the i got the jack socket eventually connected on um it wasn't too bad but you see it's got this metal plate round about it if it was just a hole then a flipping nightmare like an acoustics you're sitting there with bass strings and cocktail your know, kebab skewers not trying to find the thing that one wasn't too bad um but ultimately i decided that it's actually quite a lot of effort to paint this um because i've got to take out all the electrics paint it but do a lot of taping off as well and i've got to and also i don't know i'm not sure exactly what i would do with the f holes so i would have to because obviously they've got white binding on the inside so i'd have to try and tape the inside of the f holes and then put stuff something in so the paint didn't go in the inside and then i've obviously already and then all, all these electrics would have to go back in which involves having bits of string tied onto them and pulling them through and it's just fidgety 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 work um and ultimately i don't really think it's going to improve the price of the guitar if somebody really wants a bucky 335 i could do it but money i'm not i'm not willing to do that amount of work for like 40 quid or something you know it's like that's just stupid so it costs 20 quid in paint for example <laughs> you know it's like so probably not going to be the first bucky 335 um you could always just stick a bucky label on it yourself and then it not bother painting it um so trade series three i'm gonna have a little bit of a, a more than having more than one iron in the fire so I mentioned this in the video as well. I got this in a trade. This is a PV Telecaster. A EXP, a generation EXP. This is a Fishman piezo bridge. It's got a Fishman power chip inside it. So it actually, it balances out and you can actually blend between like the acoustic pickups and an HSS strap. Does it have a push? No. No, so it's just a, an HSS strat. I think it's got automatic coil tapping. I can't remember. Coil splitting in position two, if I remember correctly. Um, so, this, I mean, this is a fantastic look at it. It really is a really nice guitar. <laughs> the only reason I'm not going to... Could, could buckify this one as well. I don't want to... If anyone's wanting to swap this for something a little bit more interesting, I might... I'm, I haven't actually... I don't think I've ever actually put it up for sale. It's going to be worth a couple hundred quid, I would have thought. Um, they'll be more, more expensive than this. Uh, so what to do with this? These are just guitars that I need to get rid of. There's been a, a slump in buying things. I was trying to sell a few guitars over the last couple of months. Um, a couple from my pal Ivor. And basically, over the summer, nobody's buying anything. I keep looking online and just seeing guitars that are just not shifting at all. Um, I think maybe something to do with the lockdown thing, where during lockdown, everyone bought guitars because they were stuck in the house. And then after lockdown, they go, I can't be bored playing the guitar. I never learned it. You know, a lot of people, lot of people buy guitars and they never learn. So there's a PV Generation EXP, which is actually looking at it. I don't know. Why, why am I not playing it? I maybe have to have a wee think about that. There's this, which I can't, I can't play. This is a... You can see, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing quilt top, but it's black. So you have to kind of hold it up to the light to see it's a quilt top carved top I, I think I, I fitted a coil split to it so it splits these two Seymour Duncan Nazgul and Sent, Sentient Sentinel pickups hard tail um, as I said coil split three-way switch eight strings Jackson through neck um, if you hold it up to the light you can see how many pieces I think it's a one piece neck actually um, yeah so through neck eight string plays like a dream for the first six strings i can't bend my head around the eight string i can get the seven i can see a seven string i can deal with it because you just ignore the extra string and play it normally 
and then when you need the extra, you go, oh, I've got an extra string, da 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 you know, that kind of thing. When you've got two, something in my brain doesn't let me ignore two strings, so I'm constantly running, when I'm playing normally, I, I get lost, I end up on the wrong string all the time, just because it's so big, also it's so wide, it's pure ridiculous. Um, so if anyone's interested in this, I have tried, I, I did put it up for sale at one point, but nothing really came back. I think this is going on eBay because somebody's going to really want this. I mean, it's obviously, it's, you know, it's, it's a Jackson, it's through neck, it's fancy shit, it's got Seymour Duncan pickups in it. This should be an excellent guitar, which I reckon to see if it had been a six string or a seven string, would have no problem selling it. But being the eight string, people are quite understandably a bit scared of it, like I am. Um, So... A Jackson. I even try, I tried to sell it to Scott, but you couldn't bend his round, head around the eight string thing either. Which is understandable. It's just. Maybe I think again, see if you're mad into things that are generally down tuned and use eight strings. Whereas I'm kind of like, I don't really. You know, put music. Put, 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 there's music after 1982. Is there? Really? Well, um, okay. Uh, you know, all your modern metal, and as I say, anything after the 90s is modern metal for me. So your eight strings, your mashuggas and all that. Oh, you're into that? That's, you need that. You can't play that on a, a six string. And then, of course, my Hello Kitty, which I tried. I don't know what to do with it. I put in an um, Entwistle X3 ne Neodymium, the most powerful pickup in the known universe. Um, this one had been previously modded. It is a genuine Hello Kitty. The neck is not a Hello Kitty neck. It's a Squire from about the same year, 2004. So it's, they, they, they had um, maple necks. This one's a rosewood neck, which is some people like better. So it's an improvement on a normal one. Um, it did have, someone had modified it and put like a Music Man, uh, Dual Sonic pit guard on it. So I took that off and cut bits of made bits of scratch plate and see them there and painted them back at a checker plate. So I've now got a kill switch on this bit. And this is a, a volume. They've normally only got a volume, a volume and a tone. I think they've, I think they've only got a volume. So this one has a volume and a tone. Oh, it's got a volume. It's got a RTEC onboard preamp system, which gives you off one, two, three, four modes of distortion. One being light. It's, 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 I can't. If you look it up, it's called a preamp four or something like that. You've got like um. I've done videos on this. Uh, it's got like sort of mild overdrive. Or I think first first one's a clean boost. Then it's mild overdrive. Then it's m metal. Then it's heavy heavy rock overdrive. Then it's heavy metal overdrive. So it's basically just like four stages of gain. The problem with these things is there's a wee trim pot on the back. That the difference in volume between each of the settings is pure insane. You know, it's like, I'll just use a light boost and it boosts it like, huh. and he's up here, okay, I'll try the, the next one, the distortion one, oh, and it's up here, oh, I'll try the hard rock one, oh, I'll try the heavy metal one, whoa, it's like, it's like 40 times the volume. So in the back, there's a wee trim pot that you can adjust to set whichever one, to set the volume you want at whatever your favourite sound is. I actually hacked into that and put that gain pot here, so you can have... You can use all four settings. Like if you're using the clean boost, you'd have this gain up quite loud and you can set it to be a clean boost when you turn it on. And if you've got it on the heavy metal mode, you can turn this down so that it's not 100 times, it's not 40 times louder than when you've not got it on. Um, and there's a switch to turn it on, but as, as a bonus feature when the switch, when you turn it on, it light it, the cat's, the Hello Kitty's eyes light up red. So I mean, totally unique and obviously worth thousands of pounds. Um, Anyone really want to swap it for something? I don't know. I mean, the Hello Kitty guitars go for so much money. I don't... I mean, they're fine. They're, they're quite good. Like, un unmodded. They're, it's a decent guitar. And see when they were like 150 quid new? I kind of get the joke. It's like, oh, I've got like a guitar. I'm going to play Slayer on it. You know, you get... There's, a, there's so many videos of people putting Seymour Duncans and all this stuff in these things. It's like, oh, it's like, does Slash not play one as well? It's like playing the most ridiculous guitar and playing... Being amazing because it can be... This, this one's obviously been done, but you know, you can sort the frets out and adjust it and set it up to actually play pretty good. So for 150 quid new, it's like, yeah, I can sort of see the point. After that, once people started modern, they suddenly start becoming 500 quid. It's not a 500 pound guitar, um, unmodded. It's just not. Um, 
Scott's actually going to try and sell two of them. I think he's going to try and get seven fifty for the two of them. Um, he's got the pink one and the black one. The black one's much rarer. Um, there's also more modern ones. This is the, the proper one. There is one that came out much after it that was much cheaper, and you can get them for a couple of hundred quid now. But they're not this one. This is the the, the original one with the all that stuff. I don't have the bag or anything like that. As I said, it's not the it's not the original neck. To, but to be fair, the pink one has it's got pink fret markers on it, whereas the black one just has a square neck. It's just exactly the same, apart from maple, as this neck. Um, 2004 is probably round right about when this is from. Um, old strings. Not too bad. But I mean, they're having their lights on. And also, pure scarily powerful LEDs. But this is daylight, but these are the ones that see if you look at them directly, like I just did there, I now have two green spots in my eyes. Like, see if you had a smoke machine, this would be a total laser quest Pink Floyd slideshow. Um, obviously, I've got it set up as well so that it doesn't have the stereo output, so you can turn the lights on when it, the guitar's not on. That is me just turning on the power amp, the preamp. Um, but a good, good wee guitars. Um, the single pickup again, hard tail, too strong, like a telly. Awesome. Um, I don't know what do some trading up or something. Um, I don't know what I really is I'm after as a trade. Uh, something a bit... I don't really want... Super Strats, I'm not that keen on myself. I know you can... I'm not really that keen on Super Strats, so I don't know, maybe... I, I think I said earlier, I quite fancy one of the... Basically, it's just exactly the same as I see. The Strat, strat and Pain, it's all right. 300, 300 quid new on Amazon there. So yeah, I just totally ignored the fact that I ran out of space and had to edit the video together. You never noticed that, though. Um... It's good though. The tuners are nice. It's got the. It's good. I, like, I quite like the sort of tulip head tuners, but it's just the proper sealed units. The neck's in fantastic condition. It's fine. It's kind of. It's very. It's, it's, a, it's a bit like a 335 neck. It's exactly what I would have expected. Um, it's basically, it's all 335s kind of sound, feel sort of similar. As long as they're all right. Um, and this one is all right. Um, totally. It's okay, you know, it's, it's semi-acoustic, so it's probably louder than some than most guitars when it's unplugged. But um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm warped and twisted by not liking, I hate the Oasis so much that I, I see a T35 and I see somebody standing there with so much distortion on, strumming it. So what's, what's the rhythm? Da, 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 da. And then all the bands just play. Da, 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 da. Let's not. Let's, I've, I've been really against Oasis the last couple of weeks. I don't know. Is it just the 3 5 thing that's maybe just reminded me they exist? I totally mellowed out for ages there. I can't hate them that much because I haven't been. I haven't heard any of the music for years. Yes. You know, so it's like, well, there you go. Um, still open for discussion. Is, is, there, is it possible that you like baby metal and you like Oasis? I just think they're exact opposites. They're complete opposites. I just don't think it's possible. It's possible to not like either, but I don't think it's possible to think Oasis are good and you you will even listen to one second of Baby Metal without freaking out. And if you like Baby Metal, you've got a certain mindset, which, I, which I've got where it's like, oh, the technical and all, all listen to all the music and all the things that are going on and how it's mad that it does this and all that all the things that Oasis doesn't do it's like you're oh does it do anything musical and it's like well I think the argument is there's a melody line there isn't anything else there's, there's no <laughs> there's no uh, there's no other music in it and the melody line's pretty much stolen from something else and not a sort of Oh, accidentally! Oh, of course that song's a little bit like that one. I for, I didn't I didn't really realise I'd accidentally sort of borrowed a bit from a Queen song or I borrowed a bit from a Bowie song. I didn't accidentally. It's like Oasis is like pure. Let's do a song like that Bowie song. Oh, there's a Bowie song. Right, what are the chords? We'll get the book. What are the chords? Right, we'll just do that then, and then we'll take out the bit that's interesting and just make it that rhythm. And then oh, it's a new song. You know, Galica hates you. You know he does. He knows, he knows what he's doing shit. He always did. Not pure, yeah, but people buy it. It's not music for people who like music. Watch the, watch the unsubs come up. I'm sorry. But I mean, I'm allowed to have my opinion. And you can you can like things if you want. I don't mind you. I, I, I don't, you're not, a, you're not a, 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 
a lesser human being for liking Oasis, it's totally fine. You can't argue that they're musically good though, but you can still like them. That's fine. And there's plenty of music I like that's maybe not that musically interesting, but I still like it. And there's not that much. I can't think of anything right really off the top of my head. But there, there are there are things that doesn't it doesn't have to be over complicated and super deep and clever for me to like it. I like some things that are just silly and pretty cheesy and pretty easy. That's totally fine. Yeah, so I'm, I'm busting up. Try and pad this out a little bit more. I've no idea how long this video is. Um, play some. I was supposed to. I might just play. I might do, do the, the thing and just play. Um, Chuck Berry on it. Eh? I'll not be putting the races on it. There you go. Oh, you got. You got to turn the amp on. With too much distortion. Uh, yes, I think I will. In the, in the rhythm track there, which I'm just ignoring.
Yeah. So basically, if you don't know how to play like Chuck Berry, all the songs are the same. I'll be honest. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a worthy one to do. It. I, I, someone, someone told me when I used to work in the co-ops. Ah, yeah, my pal was around. We're having a, everyone was drinking. My pal was playing Chuck Berry songs. It appeared great, and it's like, yeah. I could like Chuck. I wonder how difficult it is. It really, it's not. I mean, it's, it's kind of. And that's one of them, and then it's like. That's another one, and there's a sort of. They all seem to be the same notes, a slightly different one, depending on whether it's um, Johnny Be Good or Sweet Little Sixteen or Little Queenie or Old Carol. And they're, they're, all, they're all good for uh, learning the guitar too if you can't play um, and that's one of those ones that you don't have to be pure amazing on the guitar to do it obviously when it comes to the solo bits you can show off a bit if you are really good in the guitar but basically if you played for a year you can probably play that and if you're at a party playing John to be good everyone can sing along with it because everyone knows it and it's rocking you know it's not it's got it's got a um, clap along and all that stuff Yeah, so actually, I've not, I've not, I've not intentionally. If you're watching this, uh, Alexander from, um, where's he from? Renfrew, Greenock, something like that. The guy who's got uh, the donor, um, you know who you are, the donor strat, who's uh, only just recently started playing the guitar, but has already bought himself a strat, a Les Paul, and an SG. <laughs> you've not bought yourself a three three five yet, and it's like, it is a three three five. It's not like one of those ones that's a bit. Oh, it looks like a three three five, but. Uh, no, it is. It's just basically. Is it better than the Epiphone Dot one? To be honest, it seems the same. I had an Aria one as well with a salt tire on it, which was, again, pretty much the same. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like any of them for the same reason. Because. <laughs> Let's be honest, Oasis. And maybe a little bit of John Lennon as well. But I think that was quite. The John Lennon was the reason for Oasis. I think there's quite a lot not to like about Chuck Berry. Not his music, but his personal. I think Chuck Berry was a total dick, to be honest. Um, citation needed. I don't know. Uh, I've not not really done that much investment into it, but um, I do. I think I, I think he's a dick, <laughs> or he was. Um, did you know the thing where he had um, cameras set up in the women's bath, the women's toilets, in his in his nightclub or something? You're like, you don't have to do that. You know what I mean? So, rocking. Lots of fun videos coming this week. I'm trying to spread them out a little bit. I'm trying to do something different every night so it's not just the same old crap. Um, it's different crap. Yeah! Rocking. Catch you later.